Hey everyone, welcome back to Feed the Beast Unleashed! And today, we're gonna work on a little bit of UU Matter. That's right, I think it's actually about time for us to start getting some UU Matter generated. It's not gonna be super fast, but it should be enough to go ahead and get us started at least. So, last time we left off, we was working in our industrial craft two room, and since then I went ahead and, you know, neatened it up a little bit, um, you know, kind of worked on the, the roof a little bit, made it all stone, everything is stone of course, but I'm gonna be changing that soon, I'm just not sure what I wanna change that to just yet. Went ahead and finished off our bay window here, so this is what it looks like so far. Let me show you guys what it looks like on the outside. I actually like the way it looks. It doesn't look too bad. Still working on it though, but yep, that's what we got so far. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, we're gonna need a mass fabricator, which requires glowstone, uh, two advanced machine blocks, two advanced circuits, a Lapatron crystal. All right, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can't go ahead and generate our Lapat... Why isn't that showing up? Lapatron Crystal. I think there might be something going on with the NEI thing. Alright, that's fine. Okay, the Energy Crystal's not even showing up, and I know I got that in there as well. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, anyway. We'll just do this ourselves then. Alright, so Energy Crystal. This isn't too bad to make. Um, Lapatron Crystal. See? Nice and easy. Yeah, you guys are going to notice that my dirt count is actually going up. That's just because I actually just placed another quarry. My last one finished. Uh, this is about the amount of resources that we got so far. We got about, you know, getting really close to the 10,000 mark on iron. Um, decent amount of copper. Would love to have some more. Uh, we're doing pretty good so far. Gold, we're over 1,100 gold ingots. And diamonds, uh, we're over... Uh, 250 now, so I'm actually quite happy with that. The reason why I'm keeping dirt is because um, the force farm that I made actually goes through dirt rather quickly, and I'm gonna have to get that fixed soon. Like, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Like, if I fill up both of these with uh, dirt here, because it actually uses dirt, it does. As you can see, there's sand coming out there. That's because um, one of the uh, blocks up there that it uses for like um, the soil uh, pretty much turns into sand after a few short times I guess and then it replaces that with dirt so it goes through dirt on the forest farm really quick like this one I pretty much filled up at the exact same time and it's not going as fast so yeah <laughs> gonna have to figure out something there but let's go ahead and head on back and continue on with our mass fabricator. All right, so where was we at? Right, so advanced machine blocks. That's actually something else I need to see about getting made up, or at least auto-crafted. Uh, I believe advanced alloys. I don't know. Okay, I think we got enough. And we have enough carbon plates. Good. All right, that'll work. All right, so now all we need is some fine iron. We're gonna make a couple of these guys, machine blocks. Actually, let's just go ahead and um, make a few extra. I'll probably need those in a few minutes. All right, so there's two of those, and pretty much the last thing we need are two of these, I believe, two advanced circuits, and then we're good to go for a mass fabricator. Let's see, Lapatron crystal right in the middle. There we go, mass fab. All right, now, we're also going to need some recyclers to go ahead and make us up some scrap. All right, so compressors. And for compressors, we're going to need all of this junk. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, wasn't in there. Let's see. We should have everything needed to make that. Looks like we need a few more electronic circuits. Why isn't this thing communicating with my... Is it... Wait a minute. That didn't seem right. Oh, I was in the wrong mode. You guys probably yelled at me about the uh, energy crystals and Lampatron crystals. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't even notice. 
Um, all right, so anyways, I'm gonna make like four of these for now. I think that'll be enough. I'm gonna go and put that back. Recycler, so all we need is refined iron, dirt, and glowstone. These things are pretty easy to make up, you know, even the mat matter or mass fabricator, like I'd sit here and wanna call it the uh, matter fabricator. Um, also, as far as this is all concerned, I want to get this steam boiler actually upgraded into a uh, full high-pressure steam boiler, the max size, and run it off charcoal as well, and then upgrade all of these guys, because um, I'm thinking I'm going to probably wind up needing all of the MJ power that I can get. Now, granted, we have power converters. I'm just not a real big fan of it, and I do have it on, but I think I'm going to start straying away from it. I kind of like the fact of just having all of our MJ being produced from like the same things like that and not having to convert it. But that's just me. All right, so we got our recyclers, got our mass fabricator. Now these guys are gonna require quite a bit of power. And what I'm thinking about using for them are solar panels. Now, I really wanna use a high voltage uh, solar array but that's going to require a lot more resources than what I have. Um, granted, I have enough to go ahead and make one, but then I'd be pretty low on all my resources, and I don't really want that. So, hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, if we make a mass fabricator and we get some UU matter up and running, we should be able to make some iridium, which means we should be able to get to make the ultimate hybrid solar panel. Because it's not too bad to make once we can make up one of these advanced solar panels, which I believe on that all we need is... See, that's not hard to make. I think the hardest thing to get on this would be... That's easy. I think the hardest thing to get would be this piece of iridium right here. And I can use UU matter, I believe, to make iridium ore. So... If we can make an advanced solar panel, we can jump from the advanced solar panel to the ultimate hybrid solar panel, which I believe produces 512 EU. So I believe it's a lot cheaper to make than this guy. So if we can just get some UU matter made up, we should be able to just go ahead and hop, skip, and jump to this guy. Like how much, let's see, enriched scenarium. Yeah, the scenarium on that's pretty darn cheap to make. Now, the scenarium alloy, a little bit more expensive because, let's see, what do we need there? We just need two of these, so that's going to require, holy cow, okay. <laughs> we might have to let it run for a little while, but once we get a couple of these up and running and we get enough resources to make one, that means it's just going to make it faster and faster until we can get a um, super efficient, I guess, um, mass fabricator. Alright, so we need to quit talking. We need to get working. Alright, I think we're going to try and make up a couple medium voltage solar arrays for the time being. So if we type in here solar, let's go ahead and craft up like a stack worth of solar panels. And that should run through. We should have enough resources to go ahead and make all of that. So while that's working and doing its thing, uh, there's actually something that we're going to need we're going to need cobblestone production. And to be honest, I really don't want to use ig or the igneous extruders from thermal, thermal expansion. They actually work very well, and I've done that before in my um, Feed the Beast Unleashed. But this time, I actually want to try something different. I want to get to a new block I haven't done before or used before. This guy, the ME Transition Plane. And this is from Applied Energistics, and this should work very well for us. So if I sent that into our encoder here, code that pattern up, put that into page two. I might have to expand my Mac soon too. I also went ahead and made up a few more 4K storage drives. Um, pretty soon I'm gonna be expanding those out on the sides as well. All right, so there we go. There's our transition plane. I wanna make up at least 10 of those. Hopefully we have everything to make that up. All right, we're missing basic processors. That's not too hard. I went ahead and set this up as well. Let's go ahead and make up like 16 of these for now. Nice and easy. And I wish I could use these 
with my minium stone, but I can unfortunately, so we'll put that in there. And speaking of minium stone, I actually need to make me another one. So I'm gonna grab me four pieces of stone. I'm gonna grab me a piece of gold. Four iron ingots. And we're gonna need eight shards of minium. And we'll be able to make that guy up here in just a second. Come on, we're waiting on you, buddy. Alright, that should be fine for now. Put those into the network, and that should finish crafting our ME transition planes. Alright, let's go ahead and just set this guy up right here. Gold. I think I got that mixed up. Yep. There we go. Minium stone. Perfect. Alright, so we got that set up. We're still missing basic processors? No. I was going to say, we should have everything in there. I guess not. Probably needed a few more than what I thought. There we go. Do your worst. Alright, so I believe our solar panels are done as well. Oh, look at that. 64 solar panels. Cool. Alright, and... 10 ME transition planes. Okay, looking good so far. All right, um, low voltage uh, solar rays. We're gonna need. Let's go ahead and make up some uh, low voltage transformers. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need, but we'll make up a few extra. Surround that like so. That'll give us eight low voltage solar arrays. And then we need a medium voltage transformer. Craft one of those. Place that there, surround that with our low voltage solar arrays, that'll give us a medium voltage solar array. Alright, so that wasn't too bad, let's take a look at our resources. It didn't really hurt us on the iron too bad. Maybe about 300 copper ingots it looks like. Um, not too bad on everything it looks like. Uh, rubber seems to be doing alright. Let's go ahead and craft up like another 512 of those. So that's going to pretty much send that over into our industrial craft room to our extractor here. And, yeah, that's not too bad. Like, I'm not <laughs> I'm not one for, like, super speed or anything. And I think that's probably fast enough um, until we get to a little bit later on. Alright, so, transition planes. We've got the medium voltage solar array. We'll get all that set up in just a few minutes. But first, let's go ahead and set up our cobble system. Let me show you guys how I'm going to plan on doing that. Alright, so we should have the buckets, we should have the water. I'm thinking I might want to set this up on a separate applied energistic system. So, if we do that, we're going to need to jump into mod, applied energistics, and I'm probably going to make up an Emmy chest. What am I missing? Fluix dust? Okay. Go ahead and mix some of that up. We were missing fluix dust, right? Now we're missing a chest. Right, we'll make up a few chests. There we go. There's an ME chest. And we're going to need a controller. That's an advanced processor. I don't know. Do we? We don't have one. Drat. Okay. Uh, let's see. If we come through here, go ahead and make up about eight of those for now. Get that cooking up. All right, and while that's cooking, let's go ahead and make up a couple storage cells. Went ahead and get that set up here. So we'll make up one of those, nice and quick. And then all we're gonna need is this guy. Place that right there in the center. So we got 4K storage, nice and easy. Wait, what was that? Rednet historian. Oh, I was doing reading. That's actually like a book or something, like some type of information, I guess, for um the uh, Rednet stuff. All right, we're gonna put that back in there. Grab our ME controller. So now we should be set up there. Let's grab some cable. 
think we might actually have some MME cabling. Nope. Craft some up. Should be more than enough right there. All right, now we're also gonna need power for this. Actually, I got an idea. Let's put this in here. Should be fine, right? Didn't I have some extra glass fiber cable somewhere? Ah, there we go. Perfect. All right, so I think I'm gonna set this system up right down here. I think that's fine. Like, all of our machines are being wired back there, so we got a nice little open room down here. Um, power level and that's looking fine. Let's actually go ahead and set this up. We should be okay to just connect this directly up. So we're gonna put our 4K storage unit in there. Oh yeah, we're fine. Yeah, perfect. All right, so this should, this should have like ample amount of power. All right, now my question is, can I get back here? Looks like we can. Outside right there. All right, so let's see. Let's grab ourselves some buckets. Probably only need one. But cool thing is we got the lava, we got the water ender tanks right here. So place one there, place one there. That way I can grab from the side. Cool. All right, so in the center, how do I want to do this? Like, I, I know how to make these darn cobble generators. It's just every time I get to it, it's like, hmm, do I want to do this in a special way or not? So how many blocks do we have? We have 10 transition planes. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven that way. I can't go that way too much more. So I'd have to go this way. Eight. Nine, ten. Yeah, I guess we'll just do this right here then. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. I probably don't need all that room either, but we'll be alright. Okay, so we need water. Probably back here on this side. So I think we're going to put our transition planes along the center here. On this side, we'll have our water. Actually, I don't even know if I really needed to go down this far, but I'd be all right. So water, water, okay, we're gonna have ourselves like a little trough here, but apparently it's not gonna wanna connect. We we'll have to do individual blocks, it looks like. But one of the reasons why I love having a water inner tank makes things a lot easier. All right, cool. All right, and then right here in the center, we're gonna want our transition planes. like that. And then on this side, we're going to run lava. So you see, cobblestone. That's the plan. And we're going to go ahead and try to fill each slot up just so that way this is nice and fast. And try not to fall in it <laughs> at the same time. Watch your feet, it's getting pretty warm down there. I don't know if I wasted that or not, but it's alright. I got plenty of lava. Alright, so there we go. There's all of our cobblestone. Let's go ahead and pick this up along with this guy. Grab ourselves our ME cabling. And. Yeah, I guess it'll be fine.
All right, but anyway, we gotta get down to at least one of the transition planes, which is right there. Probably clean this up a little bit later on, but I think this will be fine for now. All right, gotta be very careful there. Got lava. All right, there we go. So all we should have to do now is just run our Emmy cabling from here to our small network here. And as soon as I connect this up, our cobble gin has begun. That's a pretty quick cobble generator, by the way. Take a look. That's not too bad. <laughs> that's faster than at least one igneous extruder. I think that's actually probably faster than... I think that's actually faster than 10 <laughs> igneous extruders. So, it's kind of cool. I like the animation. I like the effect to it. And it's relatively quick. So, I'm guessing once this guy fills up, it should probably stop. Because it won't have enough to, you know, have anywhere to put it. So, it should just stop after that. Which is good. And our power situation is going to be fine. Nuclear reactor's running. I haven't done anything with that yet. Um, cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back to base. There's actually something else I wanted to make up real quick. As much as I love the sound of those darn engines over there, sometimes they get a little annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and make me up a sound muffler. And I'm going to need a little bit more string, so let's make some more wool. Okay, you don't like me very much, do you? And all I should have to do is take this guy, place him maybe like right here? No. Let's put you right there. That should keep most of it quiet. Okay, I said most of it. <laughs> Alright, that should work for now. Alright, so we got all the cobble gin set up. And now, we really need to figure out where I want to put our mass fabricator. Hmm. Actually, we could set the recyclers up right next to our cobble generator down here. Look at that, we almost have a thousand cobble already. Alright, so actually I'm thinking that's what we'll probably go ahead and do. Yeah, this is a little jittery for me, guys. <laughs> um, granted, I think if you guys have like a lower tier computer, um, I would definitely go with a igneous extruder. That's from Thermal Expansion, right there, Igneous Extruder. Uh, all you have to do is just place one bucket of water and one bucket of lava in this, and it'll actually produce cobblestone forever, and it doesn't require power. doesn't cost too much to make either. Um, I think that's a little bit less strenuous on your system, so if you guys want to make that, by all means, um, it's probably a better solution, like I said, if your computer's not, like, great. Um... <laughs> Even recording mine kind of jitters uh, when looking at this, so. How much power is that using? Not too much. Alright, so uh, we need to set this up with low voltage power, so I'm probably going to try and get back here behind this guy. And I want this to run down underneath. Back here. Need to go back two more. Ah, darn it! <laughs> oh, that's my bad. All right, I'll make that up in a minute. I gotta remake that one. All right, yeah. I'm probably gonna make me another sound muffler real quick. That noise is gonna get on my nerves. Nope, block. Ooh. 
we'll I'll go ahead and hold on to that just so that way I can um, take it around with me uh, while we're here I'm gonna have to type it in down here but recycler let's go ahead and remake that guy compressor recycler like I said they're easy to make so breaking ones really not that big of a deal all right so shush you gotta admit, it's not as bad with that. In fact, I think if you place it closer to you and where you're working. Okay, maybe it's just closer to the actual thing that you want to be quiet. Alright, well, I can live with that. That's not as bad. Alright, so we want to connect these guys up to low voltage power. Which is what this is. Which is unless you guys uh, apply an upgrade to this or these machines, that's all they can run on is low voltage. Um, for now, I think this is fine. And they should work just perfectly like this. I'm thinking I'm probably going to want some recyclers on them though. Alright, so from here, we're going to want to. Probably connect these guys some way. And I'm going to want a export bus. Yeah, basic export buses should be fine. Precision import buses. Hmm. Let's go ahead and make up four of those. Okay, apparently we're missing something. All right, let me go get this sorted out. I need to get some things made up real quick, just some stuff that we've already made up before. So let me go get that done, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got these recyclers hooked up to our small little ME network here. As you can see, I got the ME cabling running from our uh, transition planes up behind to our recyclers here. We got the... Um, what are these... <laughs> already get confused. Wait, why can't I open you? Alright, fine. Oh wait, you can't open those. I believe those are the import buses. These are the export buses. Alright, so from here, we actually want to set these guys up to start doing their job, which is making us some scrap. So let's grab some cobblestone. We're going to put that into the top. We don't need anything more than just a regular import and export bus because these guys are only using one item for each operation so for the operation of inputting all they're using is cobblestone for exporting all they are exporting is scrap and that's going to export right back into the system here so you can see we got scrap in here already now of course we really want to speed these guys up we want to actually provide them with some overclockers um drat and this is why i keep a wing sword on me just in case my advanced nano chest plate ever gets low enough and i don't have energy uh, granted, I could go ahead and charge that up in my MFSU that was right next to me, but that's all right. We don't have time for that. <laughs> all right, so what was I looking for again? Uh, what? All right, yeah, right. That's what I was supposed to do. Make some overclockers. All right, so I think for now, let's go ahead and make up like maybe nine of them. Do we have enough for that? All right, we have water cells. What do we need for a overclocker anyway? Like, I've kind of forgotten. Okay, we need the 10K coolant cells, which we have set up. Uh, we just need the ender tank and the water cells to actually make it. So let's grab another half a stack of that. And, hmm. You know what would probably be easier? That's our glacial precipitator. We don't even have a um. I got this liquid transposer there, but it's not hooked up to water at all. And it's raining. Thank you, rain. I appreciate it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this. I'm gonna try and get us some overclockers made up for our recyclers real quick. Be right back. All right, guys. Twelve overclockers made up already. Let's get these guys placed into our recyclers. I want to set at least three up in each of these for now. I might uh, 
fix that later on and actually add more, but I think three should be fine for now. There we go. That should speed up the process a little bit, and so far we have 60 scrap. And it looks like we're still making more cobblestone than we're using. If not, it's very close. Yeah, I think we're actually still producing more cobblestone than we're actually using uh, right now with three overclockers in each of our recyclers, which is actually a good thing. Not super bad. So, good. I'm going to go ahead and close all this stuff up. At least make it look a little decent. And I'm going to find us a nice little place to go ahead and set up our fancy um, mass fabricator. So I'm not entirely sure where I want to do that, but like I said, it's not sitting on like great power here. Um, and I'll probably need to find a good place for this. Hmm. See, I'm thinking about putting it just like right up here for now. Because I just want to get it running. And I want it fairly close to our scrap system. That way I can just import the scrap into it. What if we just, like, put it right here for now? Like, I'm gonna move it, I wanna find a better place for it, but I think for now, until we get a better, uh, better setup for it, I think maybe just right out front here would be fine, that way we can just hook it up to our ME network. So I believe we have cables set up right here. Let's just, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's actually use our other pickaxe, that way we're not wasting energy. I'm just going to go ahead and mine out this way. Should reach out here. Nothing above us, which would be good for the solar panel. And I'm going to place the mass fabricator down. Oh, that hammer's going down now, too. Place the mass fabricator down right here. And I think I can put the medium voltage solar array right next to it, like that. Now, of course, it's raining out, so, you know, it's not going to receive any power. It looks like it's got some power. Um, let's go ahead and sleep the night away real quick. Hopefully, okay, it's not nighttime. <laughs> um, do I have my compass set up still? 9 a.m. All right, so, yeah. <laughs> That's not going to work out too well for us. We won't be able to see if this is working or not. So I'm going to have to probably save that for next time, it looks like. So let's go ahead and see if we can't access our terminal. We're going to grab us a export bus. And we'll put that on the top of this guy. And then we'll probably set up scrap in there and once this guy starts receiving power he's gonna start making up some UU matter and we'll have that export out into one of our networks but I think we'll do that next time that's it for me today hopefully you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any helpful tips tricks or comments feel free to put them in the comment section down below if you guys would rate the video I'd greatly appreciate it and until next time we'll see you guys then goodbye